So today, I am in Waltham, Massachusetts for the second time because I decided I wanted to go back over there to the Fernald State School for the Feeble Minded because I think I had a little bit of unfinished business with the Fernald School. It's really big and I feel like I only covered this little corner of it and there's a whole bunch more like there's a whole lot more to it that I wanted to check out. So I decided to come back on this 92 degree day and lo and behold, the worst thing ever in my life has happened. <laughs> Not the worst thing, but I don't know if you can hear the truck sound, the, that beeping truck workman sound, but looks like they finally, the minute I discover it, they finally decide to demolish Fernald. I'm looking at it. it it's just a footprint. This place has been here for literally like decades and I discover it. I get one shot at it last fall, I come back and it's already got a giant section of it missing now, which is horrible. So I'm going to have to sidestep a bunch of bulldozers and construction workers and try to maneuver to the section that they're not at. Luckily they're at the section I've already explored. I don't think they're over in the other section. So let's go try to see if we can have a part two of I visit the Fernald State School for the Feeble Minded or let's see if this is I visit a horrible annoying construction site where I get kicked out and yelled at. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to see if we can still kind of avoid the demolition crew and check out a, a part of Fernald that they're not getting rid of. So let's go, let's, let's go discover the half that's still there. This is where I was standing last fall. I will try to get that video and do a before and after, but over there is where I filmed those rusty old swings that I sat on. That is now gone. This is where the swings were and all those residence buildings that I went in. They were all right here. There was a whole bunch of residence buildings all up there, and now they are gone. They are now like piles of rubble. And all that, I was all over there. There was that um, building with the merry-go-round over there. I started out going up this road, and I went up here, and now that's all gone. So that blows. So I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna see if we can get to like that area. This is where I entered into that little area of all those open buildings. It is now nothing but a memory. I'm really glad I got to see it, but now this is all that's left. So you're just gonna have to watch my video because that's the only way for an old state school residence halls will live on in anyone's memory. I'm in the woods surrounding the Fernald State School for the Feeble Minded. It is right in back of me one of the buildings right there. And I think I was right. I think the demolition crew is only working on this area way over there. And it happens to be the area I already explored. And I don't think it's touching this area right over here that I haven't explored. And there's a building right here. So I'm not gonna be picky. I'm not gonna wander around and go, should I go in this building? Should I go in that building? I'm gonna start exploring the fuck out of this place if they're gonna tear it down because they're tearing it down, so I gotta start getting in as much cool stuff about this place as possible. So, let's go see what we can see in this building right here. Come on. So here we are, part two, abandoned for an all the state school. We gotta make this super quick, cause they're tearing the place down. So look, I'm back to my old swings from last fall. Let's take one more swing on the swings before 
They are gone forever. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. I want to go over there. That looks really creepy, but let's go take one more swing on the swings. One last swing on the Fernald State School swings. I am the last person to ever swing on these swings before they go away forever. I'm the last non fee and a police car just went by. Oh my God, a police car just went by. Okay, I may have to, I might have to abort mission. Um, while I was swinging on the Fernald State School swings, like a two-year-old and a weirdo, a police car drove by. There's a road over there. And yeah, so let's see how much we can get before we really have to peace out of this place. Okay, Fernald part two is, is not turning out as wonderful as I thought. We'll always have our memories of part one. Watch the video, go find it on my page, whatever. Check this weird shit out. Weird shit at the Fernald State School. Like, carnival toys. Like, lying on the ground in front of this abandoned building. There's just like this, this just weird stuffed fish that one would get at a carnival or out of a mechanical claw machine. But instead, it is here at the Fernald State School next to these fire extinguishers that are in drawers of water. Weird stuff going on at Fernald. And then we got this. Year leaders. It's like a cheerleader, but it says year leaders on it. I don't know why these are here. They're weird, and his pants are pulled down. This this stuffed toy seems to have been raped and assaulted at the Fernal State School. And look, we have more cassette tapes. Remember I found a room full of cassette tapes last time? Well, here is a lone cassette tape, and it is Alice in Wonderland. That's creepy. Are we going to go down that rabbit hole? No, because it's fenced off. But let's see what we can find around here. I'm in some kind of screen porch room, some recreation room with sad forgotten chairs overturned and a table that people once played cards at at the Fernald State School. These chairs are cool. These remind me of chairs in my dorm room at college. An old, an old forgotten table. I'm being really lame and cheesy and doing all the cliches. We all know this place is forgotten. I don't have to keep saying it. We've got like new modern baby toys. Look, it says, I can't. And it's true. I just, I can't with these teething rings here. Everything else is old. And then we've got modern day baby teething rings for some strange reason. We've got weird stuffed animals and teething rings going on at the Fernald School. See, any minute that cop is gonna drive by over there or there. So I better go over here down this secluded path. This really, really overgrown path. Is that the pool? That's a pool. That is so creepy. I never noticed that this is the basketball court. I filmed it last year and I never noticed the swimming pool. Oh, that's so weird. Look at that. It's the swimming pool at the Fernald State School for the feeble-minded. Let me say it one more time in case you forgot. Feeble-minded people swam there once. It's pretty deep for the feeble-minded. That's so creepy. I love abandoned swimming pools. Not that I've seen many. <laughs> But just think about like the 92 degree days that people were swimming in this pool and playing basketball over there. 
and enjoying their feeble-minded day. This place looks like it was a blast. I want to go here and swim and play basketball and swing on swings. But I guess the rumors are that while they were swimming in that pool, they were probably being like held underwater and tortured, but whatever. It's got a jacuzzi and everything right there. That's the spa. That's the jacuzzi. Sorry for my hand shaking. I'm nervous about the police coming by and yelling at me, which would be well deserved, but hey, okay. That building's creepy. Let's go check it out. Oh my God. There's a way into that building. Should we go in? Should we go in that building? They're gonna tear this place down anyway. And then we're never gonna see it again. There's a really cool jungle gym over there that I wanna check out. But first, let's check out this building. We got to, right? And it's nice and cold. I can feel it, I can feel the cold. Look at this, look at all the, look, the, the breaking and entering going on. That's just not right, that's just excessive. But I'm glad whoever did that did that. So that I may sneak in, but I don't wanna walk through that. Okay, I literally contorted my body and I squoze through that hole. So let's make this really quick. We're inside one of the really badly peeling Fernald buildings for the last time because they are, as we speak, tearing this place down. So this is your last look at the Fernald State School. Look, this creepy staircase. Where does it lead? Ooh, I don't know. Let's go in here. Uh, this looks like a punishment room. Looks like a room where they would like lock feeble-minded children in. I'm being so offensive with my feeble-minded jokes, but we gotta make this quick. Boobs, look. There's boobs in here, see? Boobs. And there's a like a dungeon of some sort. Let's go up these stairs. Let's go up these stairs. We're going up the stairs while they demo the shit out of the rest of this place. Take your last look. This will all be gone by the end of summer. Look, look at it. poor kids. Hold up one hand and you have an individual. Hold up two hands and you have a group. Words of wisdom from the Fernald School. Words that will be a pile of rubble in a matter of a month. Look, let's see. Let's, let's wonder twin power it. Last person. Ooh, it's probably lead paint, gross. Let's go, there's tons of asbestos down there. I'm breathing it in, wonderful. Don't drop the soap. Who cares about the graffiti? Anybody coming? Nope. Windows bust to help them. Okay. This is this is so exciting. Last time in the Fernald State School toilet. Anyone gotta go? Because it's right here. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Shower. Very modern shower. This place was open in 2014 temporarily. That's why this looks modern. Bathrooms, I'm sure you all know what bathrooms look like. Okay. Whoa. Ooh, look at this creepy staircase. Should we go up that creepy staircase? This is like the Anne Frank house staircase. Am I going up to the Anne Frank secret annex? Am I gonna find like the Van Don family and the Frank family? No, I found a secret door. And it's friggin' locked. They, they, they decide to actually secure one, one door while the rest of this place remains irresponsibly wide open. Okay. This is sad. I think in 2014, this was used as a, a functioning homeless shelter, is what I read. And it looks like maybe this was the corner of the room some little girl had and had all her princesses and Dora stickers. So that's sad. Some child stayed in this room. And now it is it is nothing. Some child played with that with that ball right there. And now it is a pile of asbestos that I don't want to touch. 
Uh, let's see. Okay. That's a sad mural. That is a sad, lonely mural for this sad, lonely place. That's just excessive vandalism. Okay. Oh, and yeah, that's also excessive. Very, very uncreative vandalism. Okay, I'm an idiot. There's how I crawled through among all that shattered glass. Uh, the friggin' door was wide open and unlocked. I could have just walked through the door. So, who's the cool kid? Not me. I gotta get a picture on that jungle gym over there. It's one of those classic 70s jungle gyms that they don't make anymore because children fall off and kill themselves. Okay, I don't know how this happened, but this group of trees has grown around and through this jungle gym. Like it doesn't, it's, it's not possible that they put the jungle gym around the trees. It's that the trees grew through the jungle gym. Cause look, you can see it's growing into the tree. That's so weird. That is the weirdest thing ever. That's how long this jungle gym has been here. This giant group of trees has grown right through it. That is cool. Look at this one beautiful flower growing out of the ground all by itself with nothing else around it but abandoned buildings. There's this, what is that, a daffodil? Is that a daffodil? Just growing right here on this abandoned playground in the middle of the Fernald State School. So this building is wide open. Let's go check it out really fast because I'm really starting to get anxiety being here. Okay. Wow. Someone, someone really had to get every single pane of glass, didn't they? Okay, what's this? Looks like a knife. It's not, it's something, I don't know, papers private papers look at this i found a head i found a severed head see it's a severed head dot spoke i just heard something that was creepy papers i'm not going to read them they're probably boring this room, it's very creepy. Looks like an Amity Velhara setting. Oh my God, did you just hear that? I just turned the camera on and a door slammed upstairs, but the wind is blowing, so it's obviously the wind, but that was creepy. And so is this little room. Oh, it's not a room. It's stairs that lead to this horrifying basement with a horrifying door. Yeah, I'm not going down there. I'm sorry. I know it would be awesome. The door's open too. Oh no, it's just a door leaning against the wall, but the real door is right here and inside is Holy shit. A whole bunch of shit. Like a lot of fans and a lot of lamps. It looks like a flea market in here. Anyone want a lampshade? Because there's a whole bunch. A lot of fans, a lot of lampshades. Ooh. Lighting fixtures. Yeah, a lot of lighting fixtures. Okay, I went to the creepy basement. Is everyone satisfied? This looks like the door to the TV show Friends. That is the frame around the people, whatever. Let's go, let's get out of here. I don't know if I wanna do too much more because I'm really pressing my luck. Any minute, I'm going to get my ass tossed out of here. So, I should, I should work my way out of here. I really wanted to go 
to that building. It's huge, but I don't think so. Sorry, we do not accept donations on weekends and holidays. Well, you don't accept donations ever anymore. You're the donation. This entire campus is a donation because it's about to be one big hole in the ground. I don't know which way to go. Yeah, I crawled through that window. One more building. We're gonna do one more building, okay? Because, what is this out? Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna film inside this building and then we're gonna head out. Oh, look at this. Living room, living room. We are in the living room. And there's a lot of that. And, and a nice comfy couch if anyone would like to sit down die of cancer um yeah there's not much living going on in this living room no i should have a mask on i know don't even don't even comment about that because it's true you'd be right you'd be very correct so anyway yeah um i keep saying it uh, i think all these buildings pretty much look the same as you go in and out of them and other vandals have, ooh, it's a nice mirror. Look, me, filming me, filming me, filming me, in infinity, pretty cool. Guinness, stout, Int no, it's not full, okay. Um, I keep getting sidetracked by these little armoires, but I think all these buildings are getting repetitive and not all that interesting. But it's cool that I got in for one last time and there's the whole issue with the construction people on the other side of the campus and the police who are rightfully securing the area from idiots like me. So I think I should end my visit to Fernald part two. This was really awesome though because this is the last time I will see this place because it will be gone by the summer. The area they've already demoed was a pretty big area and that's already gone. So this will be gone soon and I will have this lovely recording of me inside these dirty, gross buildings to hold the memory of Fernald. And to all of you who ever wondered what the Fernald State School looked like, it looked like this before it got demolished. As it was getting demolished, this is what it looked like. This is it. We didn't miss much. New. The Belmont House has seen better days. That is hanging literally by a thread and so is that shit hanging from a thread in the belmont house yeah this isn't a fun place to be i'm gonna get out of here before that roof and these light fixtures fall on me let's go church steeple is chiming. That's creepy. But this is even more creepy. I like, as you can probably tell, abandoned swings and abandoned playgrounds. And there's this yoga ball 
in an abandoned swing. And the juxtaposition of it all is just amazing. Too bad this chain link fence is in the way, but that is just a sad and depressing picture. That empty swing and that unused yoga ball. Okay, I'm back in the woods surrounding Fernald. I just wanted one last look at the Fernald State School. Really sad that they're demolishing it. If you want to see this place, your time is running out and I don't advise it at all because I really shouldn't have been here. I apologize to the town of Waltham for being here. I just wanted to see this really cool place one last time. Last time I was here, I kept saying, I can't believe this place is just abandoned in the middle of Waltham, forgotten. And of course, next time I come, it's being demolished. I'm glad I got to see it today, one last time. If I'd waited until this summer, I would have probably been too late. So this concludes, sorry, my camera's shaking. It's, it's attached to a tree right now. This concludes my series, my two-part series on the Fernald State School for the Feeble-Minded in Waltham. This is it. There's not going to be any more. There's not going to be any more of the school. There's not going to be any more videos on it because it's going to be gone soon. But yeah, now this will forever be ingrained in your mind on YouTube for your viewing pleasure to see what it was like at the abandoned Fernald State School. So I'm going to go now. Check it out. I found that same blue car that I came across in the woods back in October. Random toy car right in front of me in the woods. Like a broken plastic toy car. I guess I took this exact path last time because I found this exact blue toy car still here, still weird. I won't be seeing it again ever because like I said, I'm never coming back here. There's no, there's no point. It's gone now. It's a memory.